So I'm not going to lie, this was a toss-up for who I was going to cover for the Assassin. It was either going to be Kojiro, Hassan of the Cursed Arm, or it was going to be Hassan of the 100 Personas. And really, it was coming down to either Cursed Arm or Kojiro because they have both carried me a lot on both the NA and JP versions, respectively. But at the end of the day, I just really, really like Kojiro. I think he's super sick. Love the dude in Fate Stay Night. Thought he was an absolute shad in Shimosa. And I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and talk about Kojiro. Very similar to like some other servants that I haven't covered yet. You know, kind of like how I was trying to be a little quirky for Lance when I did Ku Proto instead of the normal Ku. But this is just one of those servants that I'm gonna have to get around to covering anyway because the series name is Low Star Legends and this dude is literally the lowest of stars and is one of the most legendary servants in the game. We didn't nickname him Regend for nothing, right? So with all that being said, make sure you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel for that daily FGO content. I stream every weekday starting at about 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to watch me play FGO Live. But let's just go ahead and start diving right into this guy because Kojiro, unlike some of the other low rarity servants, it feels like they've actually already fixed this guy. Like they've gone through, they've buffed two of his skills and his NP, and it doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot else they need to do for him. Again, looking at his hits, this is like the only thing that they might want to go ahead and fix. But funny enough, on the JP version of the game, they just buffed how quick chains work. So not only do you now get 20 stars per quick chain, but if you lead off with a quick card, it actually buffs your ability to do crits. Like if you had an 80% chance crit, it's now a 100% chance. So someone like Kojiro, who kind of suffered for having lower hits, is now just like insanely better because of something like that. Again, as an assassin, having low quick card hits is like kind of mitigated by the fact that their natural star gen is insanely high. But now like that just doesn't even matter because as long as you're just quick chaining, which he has three quick cards, so even without his NP, he can do a quick chain by himself. You're just bombing stars all over the place. And his NP gain is actually pretty decent as well at 1.05%. And I found that as long as you're just giving him like a decent bit of quick buffs, you know, just say you're using with like double Scotty, this guy can actually refund a lot of his NP back on those quick crits and, you know, just kind of spam his NP all over the place, which just makes him even stronger as we'll talk about later. Kojiro is like one of those servants that just has like a really strong kit and he gets stronger as the fight progresses. So first and foremost, let's start off with his first skill, which is the only one that hasn't been touched, but I really don't think it does need to get buffed or messed with in any way. This is still just absolutely fine as a skill. It's giving him evasion for one turn and it's giving him 40% crit damage for three turns on a six turn cooldown. Like this is just one of those skills that's always going to age very well. Sure, a more modern servant might also have like some random star weight attached to this or they might have like two dodges that last until like three turns or something like that. But this still holds up. It gives him survivability and keeps him alive. And it just gives him general crit damage so when he's not firing his NP, his cards at least have a little bit more bite to them. So it's just very, very strong overall, especially considering that Kojiro is a servant you want to bring to boss fights. Kind of having some survivability is almost mandatory at this point with how long and how kind of ridiculous some of these bosses are getting. And it just starts him off to look really, really good. Like it's just a very good opening skill. But then we move to skill two and three, and this is where things just start to get like a bit nutty so for one he just removes all of his debuffs so like the guy can't be like attack lowered or like np damage lowered anything like that you know lowering his quick performance like none of that actually does anything because he can just yeet all of that off of himself and then every time he attacks with his quick cards he's going to hit the enemy with a quick resistance down while also bombing 15 stars but here's the crazy thing that lasts for three turns both the on attack buff and the quick resistance down and this is on a four turn cooldown meaning you can actually start to stack these skills together like on the last turn if you're going ahead and just gonna like pop off with a bunch of quick cards and then like the next turn when the skill comes off of cooldown you can just start smacking them with quick resistance downs again like you can stack the effects of this skill on top of each other it's really insane and again like i mentioned he's got three quick cards already in his kit plus the quick card that is also his np and it just is one of those things that can get out of hand really really quickly you could also technically view this as like kind of a utility skill if you're using kojiro with like 
any other quick servant as well he's technically contributing damage for them as well because he's lowering the enemy's quick resistance and that other quick servant can use their quick cards to smack them in the face and again i think the most nutty thing here is that it's just on a four turn cooldown it's one of those things that you could like always have up pretty much all the time and sure sometimes you might waste the debuff cleanse because you know, you just want to get to the, the on attack buff. But the nice thing is, low cooldown, that debuff cleanse is going to be available very, very soon. So this skill is already pretty nutty. Then the third skill, they just touch this skill up a little bit by just buffing the star generation rate and also giving him some star weight as well. So yeah, basically now, not only does he have the crit damage, he has the ability to just massively lower the enemy's uh, quick resistance, but then he also gets through all dodges because he has pierce evasion. The star gen buff actually means that despite him having lower hits on his quick cards, this guy can produce like 60 stars a turn in conjunction with like the new buffed quick chains plus stuff like his NP. It just makes him ridiculous and then he can just suck all those stars back up. But the funny thing is, is that I'm like, I don't even think the star weight is that necessary on Kodro because you can make so many stars with this guy that it just doesn't even matter. Like you're going to have like 50 plus stars because of again how broken the new quick chains are and how kind of just decent he was at genning stars beforehand but then they were like nah here's more like star generation and here's a buff to how quick chains work it just made him ridiculous all of his skills are just chocked full of just like really good stuff that like any dps servant would kill for i mean what he's like lacking a battery and like traditional buffs like an attack buff or a quick buff but Actually, no, you'd be mistaken because remember when I talked about his NP makes him stronger every single time he fires it? Well, look at that. Every time he fires his NP, he gets a 20% quick buff that procs first and it lasts for three turns, meaning every time he fires his NP, not only is he going to be doing more and more damage, the NP gain of those quick cards are going to go up. And again, he's got three of them plus the NP. And it just leads to him being able to just spam his NP all over the place because, oh, look at that. He's also dropping 15 to 35 stars on his overcharge. It's like, as soon as you get Kojiro going, he's like a freight train. Like, he just cannot be stopped. Because unlike some other DPS servants, you like really never lose the buffs, right? So a lot of other servants, like you give them the buffs for three turns, they go really ham tar for three turns, and then you got to wait for those skills to come back off cooldown. Kojiro's like, because of how the second skill works and how it's like something you hit on the enemy and you can loop it, and the fact that it's really easy to continually fire his NP because the NP gain that he has with crit crits is really insane. It's kind of like the dude never stops. It's kind of like the quick assassin version of Melusine. Maybe not as crazy as Melusine because Melusine literally just injects herself with raw NP gain, but it's a very similar game style, right? Where it's like they're not really restricted to just firing their NP for three turns. It's like they could potentially go even more Hamtaro. As long as you're getting those like crits with Kojiro, you're going to be spamming the NP all over the place. And while the NP damage chart might have made it look like he's really low on the list, one, you got to consider that he is a free NP5. You can't look at his NP1 numbers because who the heck is using an NP1 Kojiro? And B, you got to consider that that little buff that he has, the other calculation, that is pretty much going to be up like most of the time. As long as you are hitting the enemy with your quick cards, you can expect like that level of damage, if not more, because remember, you could start stacking it and he stacks the quick buff on his NP. So he could start doing like ridiculous levels of damage very, very quickly. So it's like kind of a no brainer that if I had to rate this servant, I would just give them like the fattest gold star because I'm like, dude, this is a one star servant that everybody has access to in the friend point gotcha. Like they're just giving this guy away. But you know what? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Am I gassing up Kojiro too much? Maybe I'm just a little biased because I really do like Kojiro. He's like a really sick character. Let me know all that in the comments down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video where unless they just drop something random on us, we're probably going to be talking about Berserkers. And there's quite a few that I want to go ahead and give us a mention to. So stay on the lookout for that one and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Late guys.